veering off to the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. Now, this is going to pose a threat to Turks and Caicos, parts of Hispaniola, places that just got a lashing by Hurricane Irma. We could see some rip currents and some high swells over the next 48 hours. Yes, are you serious, folks? I, I need you to pray for the island of Dominica. It was devastated last night as Hurricane Maria hit it as a Category 5. Just an incredible, insane, powerful hurricane. What's unbelievable is Hurricane Maria went from a Category 1 to a Category 5 in 14 hours. The fastest a hurricane has ever done so. Are you serious? Well, Hurricane Maria left this trail of destruction as it hit the Caribbean island of Dominica as a Category 5 storm. And according to the, uh, to the governor there, every house, every home on the island, roof was tore off, including his. Then it battered Guadalupe with powerful winds early this morning. Forecasters have now warned that the storm could leave some parts of Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands uninhabitable for months. And Roosevelt Skirret, the prime minister, that's who it was, of Dominica, wrote on his Facebook page that his roof was gone, that his home was flooded, and that he was at the complete mercy of the hurricane. After Hurricane Maria made landfall last night, a few minutes later, the politician reported that he had been rescued. Initial reports are of widespread devastation. Skirret said in a later post, Quote, so far we've lost all what money can buy and replace. So far the winds have swept away the roofs of almost every person and I have spoken to or otherwise made contact with. The roof of my own official residence was among the first to go and this apparently triggered an avalanche of torn away roofs in the city and the countryside. It was a devastating massive a storm. He warned that the airports and the seaports were likely to be shut down for days and around 72,000 people live on the island of Dominica and, and uh, he said my focus now is in rescuing the trapped, securing the medical assistance for the injured. We will need help my friend. We will need help of all kinds. NBC News meteorologist Bill Carnes highlighted that Hurricane Maria was one of the fastest intensifying hurricanes ever recorded in history. It blew up from a tropical storm into a major Category 5 in 14 hours. Dominica had very little time to prepare for this monster. It just didn't see it coming, Carnes said. And I fear that we will see during the daylight hours from Dominica and Guadalupe they had little time to prepare for the strongest storm of their lifetime. With Maria producing maximum sustained winds of 160 miles an hour, hurricane warnings were in effect for Puerto Rico, the satellite islands along, around it, including the U.S. Virgin Islands. And now, it will weaken briefly to a Category 4, but it will regain its strength, and it will be a hurricane Category 5 um, very shortly this morning uh, and we'll continue to head toward San Juan, Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Our prayers are with all you folks in Dominica and in Guadalupe and in the other smaller islands as well as uh, Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. We know this is a monster coming your way. Our prayers are with you. Also, Jose, Hurricane Jose is just setting up there in the East Coast and just gaining steam and just setting there. It won't go either way. Something is going to go and it's loop back, maybe go back and hit um, part of the East Coast. If it don't, it's going to just drift, drift, drift northwest till it hits Connecticut. It's just, we don't know what this thing's going to do, but it's bringing a lot of water with it and storm surge. And Lower Manhattan could be in trouble. Boston could be in trouble. Cape Cod could be in trouble. There's just all we just don't know what it's going to do, and then we don't know what Maria's going to do after she's done with the islands. Some say it's going to turn away and leave the U.S. mainland alone, 
but we don't know for sure. And uh, in the next 24 hours, we'll get a read on Maria. So pray for the folks that are being devastated by this another massive apocalyptic event. Folks, in, this is day 29 of the 40-day solar eclipse warning. How much more warning will we get? Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Irma, Hurricane Katia, Hurricane Maria, Hurricane Jose, Hurricane Lee is still out there, earthquake in Mexico, super volcano will not settle down, two explosions on the sun, West Coast wildfires, including Canada, two rockets fired over the heads of the Japanese, and a detonation of a nuke in North Korea. Wars and rumors of wars. How much more? How much more of a warning will we get? Are you saved? 